of years of uh, begging and pleading to get me out here, and I would go, oh, I don't want to come, you know, there's nobody down here, I was here all night, and nobody showed up, and I had a beer, and... Sorry. This isn't my material, by the way. So, the reason why I'm here is my girlfriend is driving me fucking crazy. That's why I had to come down here, just to tell you all that. I don't even care if you laugh, honestly. I'm dead serious right now. No one laugh! I don't see anyone laughing here all night. Anyway, she's driving me fucking crazy, okay? And you know why? Because this thing's too low. But besides that, the reason why is she wants to get married, right? So, is anyone here married? Anybody out here tonight? No one's here married? Well, I can't do that bit then. All right. Well, anyway. Thanks, buddy. Is that better? Yeah, it's perfect. So, thanks, David. Anyway. So, the point is, is, she keeps dropping these subtle hints on me. She'll go like, Oh, I'm never gonna get married. And I'm like, not if you keep saying that. <laughs> or she'll go, Oh, wow. You know, if you sold that Harley Davidson you had, we could have the greatest wedding. Oh my God, we have all the bells and whistles. And I'm thinking, what? So my butt? No, absolutely not. Out of question. Anyway, so the new thing she's doing now is she's making me watch Sex in the City on, uh, what is that called? On Directive, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, on Demand. Thank you. Lady over there. She didn't say it. So, I gotta watch Sex in the City reruns on On Demand? Okay, well here's the problem with that. Or my problem with it, anyway. So, every Sex in the City episode kind of goes like this. I'm never going to get married. When am I going to get married? Right? How many years did we watch this? We watched it. Years and years and years. I didn't want to. I was forced to. Anyway, so they make a movie about it. And the girl finally gets engaged and she gets married. And what does she do? She leaves the guy at the altar. What the fuck? What the fuck is up with that? I'm sorry. You got your wish. You wanted to go up there and get married, and then you leave the guy at the altar? Okay, I'm sorry. And then, on top of that, they made a Sex in the City 2, which that totally fucking blew my mind. Did you do that again to a poor bastard? Anyway, I'm sorry. So I'm just venting my frustrations at this point. But uh, let me go back to my material, if I can find my way back there. So... Many years ago, when I first started to date my girl, I used to tell her all these stories about how I've never been married, but I've been divorced twice. I know that's kind of hard to believe, but it's true. I've never been married, but yet I've been divorced twice. Once with jail, and once without. Okay? So anyway, that's a whole other story, but we won't get into that. We've had way too much of that tonight. But uh, just let me wrap this up, I guess, because I can tell people are starting to fall off their chairs over here. Uh, so just to sum it all up, I don't want to see anybody here laugh. I don't want to see anybody here get married, okay? And the last thing you ever want to do is get your girlfriend pregnant, okay? Because then she's going to hit you with all of these fun things that you're going to hear like, did you do this to me? Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you wanted this. No? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't take it back now. Or, you know, this was all your idea. It was? I thought you wanted this. I thought it was your idea. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> new catchphrase I'm working on. Guys, that is our show for tonight for Waste of Town. Thank you all so much for coming out. We are going to have a good time. Uh, next week, it's another open mic. Starts at uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, it's Jamie Glasheen, Sean. Um, and tomorrow, come see me at Healy, my guest. But other than that, thank you very much. Good night.